Welcome everyone, one more week with you. So far it's been a crazy journey, this one I started to show you some of my favorite buildings and on top I've gotten a lot of feedback and requests from you guys. Um, I'm already preparing some of your requests and all I can say is that I'm really happy to be this busy, so thank you. This week's episode happens in Berlin and although it is a simple project from the construction, I wanted to show it and provide a bit of information about the memorial of the murdered Jews of Europe and how it feels to me every time I'm there. I don't want to discuss the controversy and problems during construction too deeply, although there were a lot, like materials on choice, issues with graffiti and security at the beginning and costs. There's always some problem that comes up, and this project was no exception. If you check the links I will put below in the description, you will find further information both from facts and technical, but you can as well DM me on Instagram or post a comment below, and I will come back to you for sure. I will condense all the explanation in one main point, which is the concept, and also maybe with the extra info and sharing my thoughts with you, you understand why I edited the intro this way. So, basically the project is agreed with 2711 concrete slabs. The slabs are 238 cm long and 95 cm wide, with heights that range between 20 and 470 cm and all the slabs are placed in a 19,000 square meter site. That's a huge space filled only with concrete. That's around 140 meters by 140 meters. And this is when it gets interesting from the concept, because for me, as an architect, grids and regularity are peace and quietness. And yes, the memorial answers to an almost pure grid, where all the elements are the same. And that should be translated into this organized and planned zone. But the floor, and especially how the slabs are laid, also plays a huge role here. Because the way it feels to me, and I think it was also the architect's intention, is when you walk inside the memorial, you dive into that concrete atmosphere which is not so peaceful and not so organized. The floor is irregular, mostly going down the closer you get to the center, and the concrete slabs get higher and higher. In addition to this, some of them are not completely straight. In this shot you can get to see the grid and a bit of those ups and downs of the floor. However, when you walk it, you dig into that sea of concrete blocks that surround you everywhere. Huge in height and this provokes a bit of anxiety, a bit of an unsettling feeling, as you don't know exactly where you are in the memorial and sometimes it feels like the concrete will fall on you. I think the concept and how simply executed it is, it's brilliant. With these small adjustments in the elements, it creates a lot of tension and uncertainty. That's how I feel every time I visit the memorial, and that's why I cut the intro in that very fast-paced way with so many twists and changes. I try to transmit that disorientation and confusion and anxiety I find in the place. Overall, I love the project, and I have the impression that it also attracts the attention of non-architects and they like it as well. Let me know what you think of the series so far. Am I going in the right direction? Would you like to see other points that I'm not covering or other topics related to architecture? Go ahead, let me know. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, I will be next week with you again to review another building. Thanks a lot for watching.